Hello, uh, today I'm going to show the difference between Visual Studio 2022 and uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, so basically Visual Studio 2022 is very heavy program compared with the Visual Studio Code because in Visual Studio 2022 we're gonna need around 50 until 60 gigabytes in order to install it while in the Visual Studio Code uh, that's very light program so in Visual Studio you can download it in this website visualstudio.microsoft.com so SVS or Visual, uh, well, Visual Studio Code you can download it in code.visualstudio.com so after installing those two here is the the view of those two programs so the difference is that how we can do the compile so before do that uh, we have two different file different file the first one is SRC that's uh, this this program is actually the exactly same uh, so this one is for Visual Studio 2022 and this one is will be for Visual Studio Code and this two, two file is actually exactly the same so in sum uh, this is a Fortran file that uh, very simple code we just do some operations between X and Y uh, and then we're going, we're going, we're going to have Z as the result of the sum operations, and then we make the Z square, and then we print it. Uh, that two variables, the Z and the Z square. So it's a very simple program. Uh, all right, so let's start from here. I think we can start from the Visual Studio code first. So as we can see here, we have sum. This is the operation. So if we compile it, uh, yeah, we can use this. So now we have the XA files. So we can run it right now. Yeah. So the sum of x plus y 25, and then the z square will be 625. So it's running smoothly. Now we are moving to Visual Studio 2022. We can start by create a new project. Uh, And then we can start using this main program code locations we can use the locations containing that two code in the VS and then we go here. the name sum then create So in order to compile it, I think we need, yeah, I think we 
can add existing item uh, yeah we're using this right add yeah this one is the right for the right, the right file this one is wrong so let me just delete this one remove delete okay so now we have this sum after that uh, we are going to build solutions yeah compiling so after we compile it now we have some dot sln solutions and this contain debug yeah this is the the result of the uh, compiling the code so if you want to test this code you can use the start here yeah that's did you see that it was a uh, very fast operation so I think if you want to see the in order to do the debug we can put the break point for for example in here so if we start it it will stop right before yeah for example in here so now uh, this is the result of sum of x plus y 25 stop debugging or we can run without the uh, debugging or you can use control 5 to do that yeah see this is the result sum of x plus y and then the this one is the C z square so basically uh, the way we compile the code is different and here we need to build the program in uh, while in the visual studio code we compile it by g fortran but don't forget during before you able to uh, compile fortran here we, we uh, we are going to need to install the one API base and one API uh, HPC. Mm, yeah, for example, in here. Mm, one API. Yeah, here's the base tool kit yeah, so basically we need to install this and then the this one which piece so after installing uh, <coughs> those two toolkit then we can use uh, Visual Studio 2022 properly so now let's move to another program that uh, more complicated than before that is uh yeah so now we are moving to src that's the source file to run Monte Carlo uh, Monte Carlo simulations 
so in here uh, for the Visual Studio Code we basically uh, need to compile it using gfortran we can do it one by one by typing this we start from constant geometry material this is the order of the the way we compile it so we can make one file and then we just compile it directly all together and that will be produce uh, that will be produce uh, a file called mcs1 and then we can use the mcs1 to uh, run some input so in here we are going to use this uh, pin as the input so let's just try to compile it in the in here. We go to SRC, SRC, and then we just compile it like this. Yeah. Now, if you see that, that will be additional file here. MCS one this one so if we run that one um, this is the input and this one will be the result yeah, so now that's code uh, run is running in visual studio code now we are going to move to visual studio 2022 this in here we we don't need this anymore we don't need the sh file because uh, visual studio 2022 will do it uh, automatically so in order to do that um, we can open new window new project and then uh, basically we need for trend here We can use empty project and then create now we're going to use this SRC or we can just make the folder in here select folder MCS want create We wait until this bar here saying saying ready when this bar right is ready then we can move we can do the next step to compile it
yeah now it's ready so this is the file contained after we create the project but the source file is still empty so we need to import or export the the file so we can use add and then existing existing item we go to vs2022 and then we select the source this is control a and then add and then uh, we can Yeah. We need to set. We need to set the target. So in here, this is the working directory. I think we can just mm, copy the. copy the file copy the path uh, common 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 arguments there is a input file here that we can use that is uh, I think we can use this yeah, this is the so this is the directory containing the contain the input. So now we put we put here the common arguments. That is the input and the output. So we can apply it and then OK. After that, we can build solutions. So this will, this Visual Studio 2022 will select the order automatically. So we can close that one and then we can start from here yeah now it's this the code run as in visual studio code so in case we want to do the debugging for example uh, Let's take a look at one of the module here. And uh, maybe particle. Yeah, for example, if you want to uh, know each value of this variable called f, x, n, f, r, r, and n, n. So we can put the breakpoint here, for example, and then this is still running, by the way. So I think we can stop the debugging or control C. No, stop the debugging. It will stop. Now we put breakpoint here, and then we start the debugging. So that will stop right uh, when the process reach this line. So that's why it's stopping here. And for the value of this, we can find in here. You see the value of call uh, collision F here is 0 0.37. 
and then xn of r r is zero and the n n is also zero yeah so that's basically to know which variable or maybe we can use local here this is the value this is the type yeah, so we can stop the debugging remove the breakpoint and then maybe in case you want to know another value mm. yeah maybe we can put the breakpoint here and then we run the start the debugging again now as you can see the program stop in the middle of running and then showing the variable as you can see here you can know the variable c1 c2 c3 c4 etc all of the variables contained in in this subroutines mostly c1 c2 c3 absolute uh, w yeah so so basically in visual studio code we can know and uh, this variable easily so basically in order to do the in order to do the debugging that will be easier yeah, so i think uh, i think that's all for and uh in and in here also showing the step by step uh, so it's up from the main and then go to criticality module and then transport particle 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 this is um, the subroutine so yeah i think this is it uh, thank you for your attentions and enjoy the coding bye bye